Hi, I'm Jason Tollefson, Product Marketing Manager for Microchip Technology. I have a very exciting demonstration for you today. I'm going to show you the world's lowest sleep current microcontrollers, featuring Nanowatt XLP technology. We have designed a simple measurement system that allows us to easily switch between commonly used low power modes. This is great for showing our low power consumption, but also allows us to compare our microcontrollers to leading competitors. Here you see the system. It consists of Microchip's Explorer 16 development platform and our measurement daughter board. The measurement board provides communication to the device under test and contains high resolution measurement circuits capable of measuring single digit nanoamps. The Explorer 16 controls which mode is entered using these four buttons, then displays the current consumed on the LCD display. All measurements seen here today will be with the device powered to 1.8 volts and at room temperature. I'd like to begin the demonstration by showing you Microchip's new PIC24F16KA102 featuring Nanowatt XLP technology. Most battery powered applications spend 90 to 99 percent of their life in sleep. So we'll start in sleep mode, then transition to Microchip's new extreme low current deep sleep mode. We'll then show the essential low power modes, which are sleep with watchdog timer and sleep with real time clock. As we exit run mode and enter sleep mode, you can see that the PIC consumes a mere 60 to 65 nanoamps. By pressing the next button, we enter deep sleep mode. Here you can see that the current consumed is approximately 20 nanoamps. In deep sleep mode, we can also add a watchdog timer. Now the current is approximately 300 nanoamps. By pressing the button again, we can add a brownout reset. Deep sleep plus brownout reset current is approximately 50 nanoamps. Finally, we can move on to our last mode, which is deep sleep mode with real time clock calendar. In this mode, you can see that the current consumed is approximately 450 nanoamps. So let's look at the current consumption scorecard. For sleep, the current was 60 nanoamps. When we went to deep sleep, the current was reduced to 20 nanoamps. When we added the BOR, the current was approximately 50 nanoamps. For deep sleep with watchdog timer, the current was approximately 300 nanoamps. For deep sleep with the real time clock and calendar, the current was approximately 400 nanoamps. Now let's look at a leading competitor, the MSP430. The part being tested today is the 2252, which is similar in memory, pins, and features to the PIC24F16KA102 family. As we enter sleep mode, or what is known as LPM4, you can see that the part consumes approximately 100 nanoamps. This includes the low power BOR, which is always enabled on the MSP430. This represents about 500% higher current consumption than the equivalent pick part in deep sleep. We can next move on to include a watchdog timer. As you can see, the MSP part consumes approximately 300 nanoamps, equivalent to what the pick part consumed in this mode. Now if we switch to real-time clock, running from a 32 kilohertz watch crystal, the current consumed is approximately 1.2 microamps. This is 300% higher than the PIC24 running in equivalent mode. Again, let's sum that up with the low current scorecard. For sleep, otherwise known as LPM4, the MSP430 consumed approximately 100 nanoamps. This is 500% higher than the PIC. For sleep with watchdog timer, or known as LPM3, with the VLO enabled, the part consumed 300 nanoamps, which is equal to the PIC. And for sleep with 32 kilohertz timer running, the part consumed 1.2 microamps. This is 300% higher than the PIC. As you can see from the test results, there's only one microcontroller that delivers the world's lowest sleep current, and that is the PIC microcontroller featuring Nanowatt XLP technology. Thank you for joining me for this demonstration. You can find out more information about Microchip's extreme low power microcontrollers at www.microchip.com slash XLP.